Okay guys, welcome to our YouTube channel Web TV Sri Lanka. So today I am talking about grade eight, second chapter. That's animal classification. So let's see. Animal classification. There is a vast diversity among animals that live in our environment. Vast means different. Grouping of animals in a systematic way by considering their common features is known as animal classification. Animals can be classified on different criteria. Let's classify elements. Elements. Sorry, that's animals. Let's classify animals according to presence of vertebral column or not. Vertebral column means skeletal system. Skeletal bone. The animals without a vertebral column or skeletal bone are known as invertebrates and the animals with a vertebral column or with a bone known as vertebrates. Simply that word vertebral column is can be named as backbone. Okay, let's talk about group invertebrates. Invertebrate means the animals do not having vertebral column. That means do not having a backbone. There are four types of invertebrates and they are Nidarians, Annelids, Mollusca, Arthropoda, Echinodermata. But in this chapter, we only talk about these four groups. We don't talk about Echinodermata. Let us consider the features of each of the above groups. The first group is Nidarians. The animals belong to Nidaria are predators and they live in water. Hydra, sea anemone, jellyfish are some examples for the group of Nidaria. Let's talk about their features. Features of Nidaria. Nidarians have radially symmetrical body. Radially symmetrical means if the body of animal can be divided into two equal halves along several axes, we call it as a radially symmetrical animal. Nidarian is a radially symmetrical animal. There are two forms as polyps and medusa. There are two forms of nidarians as polyps and medusa. Polyps are fixed to the substrate and lead a sediment sedentary life while medusa are free floating organisms. Sedentary means a solid or logged life. Because polyps can't move. Fixed. Because of that, they are leading a sedentary life. They cripple small, small creatures with their special tentacles, having nidoc ties and use them as foods. Let's talk about our second invertebrate group, Annelida. The, we, co we can name it as Annelids also. Annelids live in both marine and freshwater environments as well as in wet terrestrial environments. Marine means sea water and fresh water is drinking water. The 
examples earthworm leech nerys let's talk about the features of any leech so features body is bilaterally symmetrical body form of an any lead an example for any lead is earthworm i talk it be segments mouth anus animal can be divided into two equal halves along one axis we call it a bilaterally symmetrical animal body is bilaterally symmetrical but that means mouth and anus can be divided into two equal halves and the nidarian's body is radially symmetrical and the body of annelids are bilaterally symmetrical they are vermiform vermiform means worm like body shape body is divided into segments they are for known as segmented worms This is anus and this is mouth and this is cetellum. Let's talk about our third invertebrate or third type, mollusca. Molluscs live in terrestrial, marine and freshwater environment. Snail, bivalve, chitin, slug, cuttlefish, octopus are some examples for molluscs. Let's talk about features of molluscs. They are bilaterally symmetrical, soft-bodied animals, possess a muscular foot. possess a skin moist moistened with mucus some molluscs bear shells like snails in this sentence they are very slippery uh, skin moistened with mucus cause for that This is the muscular foot and this is eyes mouth shell Let's talk about our fourth type of fourth invertebrate arthropoda Arthropods live in terrestrial as well as in aquatic environments. Arthropoda is the group to which the highest number of animals belong. Insects, spiders, scorpions, millipedes, centipedes, prawns, crabs are some organisms that belong to the group Arthropoda. Let's talk about features of arthropoda. They are bilaterally symmetrical. Their body possesses an external skeleton or exoskeleton. Some species possess wings, like dragonfly, butterflies. Arthropods have externally segmented body. All arthropods have joint appendages. like this joint appendages joint let's talk about group vertebrates vertebrates means having a vertebral column or having a backbone
Now you can classify vertebrates based on different criteria. Vertebrates can be scientifically classified depending on their common features. There are five types of vertebrates also and they are Piscus Amphibia Reptilia Aves and finally Mammalia. The normal name of Piscus is fish and the normal name of Amphibia is Amphibians and the normal name of Reptilia Reptiles. The normal name of Aves Birds and the normal name of Mammalia is Mammals. Let's talk about our first type of group, Piscus or Fish. Fish, the group of animals well adapted to live in water below to Piscus. Tilapia, skate, shark, bluefin tuna, seer, gold strip, sardine, sprat, are some fish that belong to Piscus. Let's talk about features of Piscus. Body is invariably streamlined. This feature helps them to swim through water. Streamlined body shape means a uh, shape like this, like a leaf. It helps to swim through water like a leaf shaped one like this the body is covered with scales as fins to swim through water and ba to balance while swimming respiration through gills Osa's eyes without eyelids. Let's talk about our second group of vertebrates, amphibia or amphibians. Amphibians spend part of their life cycle in water. Frogs, toads, salamanders, are some animals that belong to the group amphibians. Let's talk about features of amphibians. Undergo metamorphosis. Skin is thin, moist and glandular. No scales in the skin. Some species use limbs for locomotion. Respiration is carried out by lungs through wet skin or mouth. There are three respiratory organs in amphibians and they are lungs, wet skin or mouth. Let's talk about our third group Reptilia or Reptiles. Replies belong to this group. They are well adapted for the terrestrial environment. Tortoise, turtle, cobra, python, viper, crate, lizard, monitor, iguana, crocodile belong to this group. Let's talk about features of replies. Possess a dry skin with scales. No glands are present in the skin. Use limbs for locomotion, but some reptiles are limbless. They are adapted for crawling, like snakes, python, cobra. Respiration through lungs, like us. Let's talk about the group aves or birds.
Birds belong to the group Aves. They are well adapted for flying. Blue magpie, swan, owl, parrot are some examples for Aves. Features of Aves O oh, birds Streamlined body is designed for flying. Fish as well as birds have the streamlined body shape. This is streamlined body shape like this shape, like a leaf shape. Body is covered with feathers. Possess limbs for locomotion. Four limbs are adapted as wings. Breathe using lungs. Let's talk about our final type of vertebrates, Mammalia and O Mammals. These animals feed on mother's milk. Man, rat, loris, orangutan, gorilla, chimpanzee, bat, whale, Dolphin, stag, there are some examples for mammals. Let's talk about features of mammals. Has mammary glands. They are helpful for feeding of feeding for babies by mother's milk. Skin has sweat glands, sebaceous glands, and hair. Possess an external ear with ear lobe. Mammals have lungs to breathe. A dolphin is a mammal. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, put a like and if you need to something clarify, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe, hope to upload more videos, stay tuned, bye bye.